Welcome back my fellow mobile gamers of YouTube to an episode of my weekly mobile gaming recap that I'm super excited about not only because I found some amazing games this week including a really cool retro old school RPG but also because I got the opportunity to work with an awesome sponsor today. So I hope you guys will help me in thanking Aptoid for sponsoring this video by checking out the links down below because whenever you check out these sponsors you very directly help support my channel as well. Now Aptoid is an open source alternative to Google Play with over 300 million users that has been ranked as the world's safest third-party app store. The best feature of Aptoid is that they give us a permanent 10 to 20% bonus on any in-app purchases in games that have this little app coins icon. These bonuses are rewarded as credits called app coins credits that we can then spend in any other game that use Aptoid's payment system. And they also pretty much constantly run giveaways and promotions as well where we can get an additional 5 to 10% extra credits. Now to see how many credits we have and what our bonus level is, there's a companion app called App Coins Wallet that you can download from Google Play or App Toit, links in the description box. There's almost no setup of this app, so you just install it and then you can start earning credits when buying in-app purchases in Aptoid games that have this app coins icon using either credit cards or PayPal. So if you ever spend any money on in-app purchases in mobile games, Aptoid is really just a no-brainer and they have everything from the mainstream titles like Mobile Legends to the much deeper cuts that I usually cover here on my channel. And the games we're gonna have a look at today can of course also all be found on Aptoid, but Aptoid hasn't had any say in how I rank or rate or talk about these games, so I hope you're gonna check out the links in the description box down below to help my channel and with that said let's get started with today's first game an awesome RPG called Exiled Kingdoms and this is something as rare as a huge open world single player retro action RPG that continues to receive major updates even six years after its initial release date which is honestly just unheard of on mobile most single player RPGs get abandoned pretty quickly by its developers because they fail to bring long-term revenue but the development team behind Exiled Kingdoms is very small and so so they've somehow been able to continue developing this game, which is just lovely. Now I know that some of you will be put off by the art style of this game, but if you can look past that, this is actually one of the largest and most well put together RPGs on mobile. And the game gives us a ton of freedom over how we want to explore the world as well, with small things like our decision to help or ignore various NPCs around town actually impacting our progression and reputation around the world. There's a total of 4 distinct character classes, 5 difficulty levels and 6 different types of attributes that we gradually level up to customize our character. And as we start exploring the world to complete quests and kill creatures, we also slowly start gathering loot and items to equip and our character levels up so we can train new offensive and defensive skills. The controls in Exile Kingdoms may feel a bit strange if you haven't played any old school isometric RPGs before, but you will eventually get used to them and there's also full Bluetooth controller support. Now if you end up playing this game, make sure to also check out its wiki and online communities because they're actually pretty active still after 6 years of development and it's a nice way to learn some of the best tips and tricks for the game. And listen, I hear you, Nimblethor, what about the monetization of Exile Kingdoms? But guys, this is where I'm gonna blow your socks off, because there's no gacha, no energy system, no ads, and no microtransactions. Instead, we can play the first 30 areas for free up to level 8, and then there's just a single one-time $3.99 in-app purchase to unlock the full game, and all of its 146 areas, 97 quests, and 2 extra character classes. You can play the game offline, it takes up 135 megabytes of space, and if you like old-school RPGs, you gotta try this one if you haven't already, because it feels like a a bit of a hidden gem of a mobile game. Next this week, I found a game perfect for all you sci-fi fans out there, because Morphite is a fun, story-driven sci-fi adventure RPG that takes place in a vast open space that we can explore exactly as we see fit. So from a huge open world, we can pick any planet to land on and then move around it in a first-person perspective to scan plants and creatures using a scanning device and kill any hostile enemies using our weapons. The data we get from analyzing objects on each planet can then be sold to vendors around space for currency that we can then use to buy upgrades for our spacesuit, our plane and our gun, all of which helps us reach new planets and survive the enemies on them. Heck, we can even land on space stations and walk around inside of these space stations to explore or steal resources from vendors. Although that definitely upsets the NPCs and so we then have to escape before they start shooting at us. And yes, <laughs> I had to learn that the hard way. And as silly as that might be, it just really comes to show just how much content this game actually packs. Now, the 3D models of Morphite's low-poly art style aren't exactly super detailed, but the gameplay is fun and the music, the sound effects and the voiceovers for the story create a pretty immersive sci-fi experience. Over on Android, there's a free ad-supported version of Morphite that you can play for the first few missions and then the full game unlocks for $4.99 and on iOS, it's a $7.99 premium game. Overall, while Morphite could use just a bit more polish, it's definitely still 
worth checking for a spin if you haven't played it yet, since those who do end up enjoying the game seem to really fall in love with its very large variety in species, creatures, quests, and even minigames. You can play the game offline, it takes up 526 megabytes of space, and the Android version I've linked down below is for the free trial version, so if you're on Android, it's pretty much a no-brainer. Now, I don't know how you guys feel about racing games, but if you like drifting games, I've got something great for you right here, right now, because FR Legends is a love letter to drifting racing games with an absolutely insane amount of available customizations and car upgrades. And the entire game is essentially a sandbox as well, which means you can play any type of drifting race at any time, both single player and versus other players online in real time multiplayer. So after selecting one of the seven different game modes, we get to pick a map and then try to gain the highest possible score by following the rules of the game mode very closely. And what makes the gameplay both exciting and very tricky is that the modes have a score points by drifting at certain spots of the level while driving straight ahead or even preventing counter drifts at certain other spots. Depending on how well we do, we then earn points for our fluency, our average speed, drift angle, transition perfection, and much more like that. And the more points we score, the more currency we get, which we can then use to repair our vehicle, because yes, we do need to do that, it does get destroyed, and we do need to pay to repair it in between races, or we can also buy a new vehicle and upgrade every single part of our vehicle. And when I say every part, I really mean every single part of our vehicle, because there's got to be at least 25 different customization and upgrade options in this game. So if you enjoy customizing and pimping your vehicle to make it look exactly how you want just as much as you enjoy actually drifting in these types of racing games, then you're probably gonna love this game. Now the multiplayer game modes are also very active, which honestly surprised me since this game isn't exactly brand new anymore. But I think it has to do with the fact that those who enjoy this game end up playing it for a very long time as there aren't many great alternatives out there. In terms of the controls, they may take a bit to get used to just as with any other racing game, but there are some decent control settings to be able to customize it. If our Legends monetizes through in-app purchases for more currency, incentivized video advertisements, and then packs up to $19.99 to be able to unlock most of the game in one purchase. The in-app purchases do allow paying players to unlock fancier cars faster, but the game can still easily be enjoyed as a free player. You can play the game offline, it takes up 186 megabyte of space, and the game is definitely worth checking out if you like drifting games, and if you do get into it, make sure to also join their subreddit and discord communities to get some helpful tips from some of the veteran players. Now my favorite game this week has got to be Exiled Kingdoms, just because I'm a huge fantasy RPG fan, and I also like the idea of supporting a game that has received updates for over six years at this point. But let me know if you agree or disagree with that in the comment section down below, and also do let me know which game was your favorite this week. And then thank you for watching till the very end, I hope you leave a like if you enjoyed the video, remember to check out the links in the description box to support the sponsor and me, and then until next time, just keep gaming, stay awesome, and I'll see you guys around on mobile and the game gives and the game gives us a ton of freedom over how we want to explore as well with small things like our decisions decision 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 wow. watching thank you for watching